know about the polynomial and what are the terms uh, in case of polynomial and which are important part of polynomial you see number one point is polynomial types number one is linear or we can say one degree example x plus 2 x plus 5 3x plus 2 etc number 2 2 degree or is it quadratic or you can say 2 degree 2 degree example is what x square plus 2x plus x or you can say x square plus 3 or you can say 3x square plus 2 these are the examples of quadratic that is 2 degree equation and third one cubic or you can say 3 degree x cube plus 3 x cube plus 3x plus 2 x cube plus 2 these all are example of cubic or 3 degree polynomial and so on next part of polynomial is zeros of polynomial so general equation now see general form of one degree one degree or we can say linear what is that linear then ax plus b this is your linear if we can use x equals to k then ak plus b if it is equals to 0 then ak equals to minus b and what is the value of k is minus b by e or we can say x equals to minus b by e for linear zero is this one is the zero for linear only one minus b by e that is constant by coefficient of x now see the quadratic general form is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 this is a general form quadratic polynomial let two zeros are x equals to alpha 
and another x equals to beta that is if you bring this side then x minus alpha and x minus beta these are the two zeros now this two zero came from this that's why we can write ax square bx plus c directly proportional to x minus alpha into x minus beta okay why i have given proportional i'll show you because k some arbitrary constant is required here next line is taken as a k x square plus bx plus c equals to k x minus alpha x minus beta and this if you solve you will get k x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta you will get this one ax square bx plus c if you compare you will get this and this so answer is after comparing k x square equals to e x square this this cancel means k equals to e what is the value of k k value is e in each case value of k is e okay a will so next one then also you will get value k this is your minus alpha plus beta k equals to b yes alpha plus beta equals to minus b by k or you can say here you will get this sum of this zero is equals to nothing minus b by e alpha plus beta equals to b by e lastly and c equals to k alpha beta so alpha beta equals to c by k or you can say c by e so this is your product sum and the product of two is this one clearly find out okay next term is abscissa and ordinate ordinate so what is abscissa now this abscissa is nothing the coordinate of x axis this is called abscissa means this line
coordinate of this line is known as abscissa this line cannot be shed abscissa but coordinates of these all lines x axis lines are known as abscissa like means x comma y yes this is known as abscissa okay coordinate then coordinate is what coordinate means this line coordinates means that is x comma y and this y is known as coordinates that is in y axis coordinate of y axis coordinate of y axis is called coordinate okay this is the terms which we have to apply in first exercise here is the first exercise why i told the graph of y is equal to px px means this is x co or x coordinates and this is y coordinate this is just abscissa Uh, ordinates and this is abscissa this is ordinates this is abscissa so are given below for some polynomial px find the number of zeros of px in each case means you have to find out the abscissa of this graph what is the abscissa of this graph if any graph is intersect on this x axis line that should be count as a zero here there is no graph intersect in x axis so number of zero is zero number of points are zero in this case number of zero is one zero and here in this case see so this graph at y axis and going to the x axis and cutting at x axis in one one time so it is zero is one one zero here is see this third one going the graph from this side intersecting at x axis and y axis and again x axis and again y x axis and again y axis okay so means how many time in x axis one two Three times. That's why how many zero? There are three zero. Now here see, this graph has started from here and intersecting at x-axis and again rising up and again cutting to the x-axis. Means one and two, two time intersecting at x-axis. So how many zero? There are two zeros. Now here you check. how many things how many time graph intersecting at x axis that is abscissa graph plotted from there one intersection two intersection three intersection at x axis and four intersection and how many zeros that's why four zeros are there there are four zeros in this case graph plotting intersecting one time on x axis two time on x axis this is y axis no need to count and this is x axis three time how many time intersecting at x axis one two or three time that's why how many zeros are there there are three zeros okay this exercise is over let's start exercise 2.2 see for completing this exercise we need sum of the zero that is alpha plus beta equals to is minus b by a which already proved that is means what alpha plus beta 
equals to minus if you write the general form here general equation that is ax square plus bx plus c then here you can understand this is a coefficient of x square and this is a coefficient of x here you can write b of x minus coefficient of x and what is a coefficient of x square okay and next one is product of zero product of zero that is alpha beta so alpha beta this is a constant he is taking c and downside is e c by a which already proved here you see this is a constant term divided by coefficient of x square now this is your formula which you have to apply on exercise 2.2 now we are going to solve exercise 2.2 so what are the question question number one we have to solve first find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relations between the zeros and the coefficients okay zeros and the coefficient keep in mind coefficient i'll show you coefficient what and what is zero okay here if you go through a general equation what is the general equation that is a x square plus bx plus c equals to zero if you go for this general quadratic equations these are called coefficient coefficient of x square and x and alpha comma beta are known as zeros of the polynomial how do you understand coefficient and zeros a polynomial on the basis of these we have to solve the questions now we are going to start question number 1 what is this question number 1 here given x square minus 2x minus 8 this is expression it will give equal sign then it is a equation now we are going to solve it by factorization with the help of factorization here you see 4 to the 8 so this is minus now we are going to complete this sum by factor 4 minus 2 because 4 to the 8 x minus because this is minus minus is there so it will be 8 okay x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 take x common x minus 
प्लस टू एक्स माइनस फोर ओके वी आर गेटिंग एक्स प्लस टू एंड एक्स माइनस फोर Here two zeros we are getting alpha equals to minus two. This one is a alpha and this one taking as a beta. Beta equals to four. Now after taking out the zeros, we have to make a sum of the zero. That is alpha plus beta. What is the value of alpha here? Alpha getting two plus beta is four. Answer is this is greater obviously plus two. And product of zero. That is alpha beta equals to minus two into four. This is minus eight. Okay. Now see the coefficient. According to coefficient, you have to check what is that. Now coefficient. Using coefficient, that is first zero is minus b by e. What is it then? From the general equations, what will get? Which is the general equations? You write here. X square minus 2x minus 8, and general equation is what? Ax square plus bx plus c. Here you see, a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to minus 8. So what is b? B equals to minus 2. What is a? A equals to one. What is the answer? Is minus two. So in this case, you see one thing over one zero over n second. C by a equals to what? What is the value of c? Minus eight. What is a? Is one equals to minus eight. Here, alpha plus beta equals to minus two. Here you see this is minus 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 plus because b is minus so alpha plus beta equals to plus two and minus b by a also plus two this is verified. Again. Alpha beta equals to minus eight, and c by a equals to also minus eight. It's also verified. In this way, coefficient 
and zeros both are same so it is in this way we can verify the sum like this you have to do for the next now see question number 2 find the quadratic polynomial each with the given number as the sum and the product of its zeros respectively this and this one is the sum one is the product we have to find out quadratic polynomial question number 1 what is given here given alpha plus beta equals to 1 by 4 and given alpha beta equals to minus 1 here you see this one is the denominator that is nothing e that is k equals to 4 okay so now we will use the formula quadratic polynomial this is a quadratic polynomial formula the for the required quadratic polynomial is x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta is nothing multiply by k k is nothing already got this denominator is a 4 now see 4 x square minus 1 by 4x plus it is minus 1 if you open you are getting 4x square minus 4 4 cancel x minus 4 this is your answer now seek question number 5 that is minus 1 by 4 comma 1 by 4 means given alpha plus beta equals to minus 1 by 4 and alpha beta equals to 1 by 4 here you see this one and this one both having same denominator that's why k equals to 4 therefore the required quadratic polynomial is k bracket x square minus alpha plus beta this is a general formula of quadratic polynomial plus alpha beta here's the value here 1 by 4 x square minus minus 1 by 4x Plus one by four. After multiplying, sorry, k equals to four. So multiply now four x square plus x. Minus minus plus x plus one. 
this is your answer 4x square plus x plus 1 okay now see the question number 3 find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are this time given zeros means alpha and beta the zeros given whose zeros are minus 4 and 3 by 2 5 2 1 by 3 minus 1 so this one we are going to solve let's see how the question number 3 we can solve let's see now 3 1 example is there given is there are two zeros already given given what alpha equals to minus 4 and beta equals to 3 by 2 we have to find out the quadratic polynomial first we find out sum of the zeros sum of the zero that is alpha plus beta equals to minus 4 plus 3 by 2 calcium 2 it is minus 4 into 2 plus 3 into 1 so 2 minus 8 plus 3 so next line is minus 5 by 2 so alpha plus beta equals to minus 5 by 2 next one product of zero that is alpha beta equals to minus 4 into 3 by 2 cancel cancel is 2 minus 6 okay means alpha beta equals to 6 here what is k then what is the denominator is there 2 so k is nothing as a 2 only you have to see the denominator of these two zeros. Now, the required polynomial is what k x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta k k value is 2 you can apply directly 2 here x square minus 5 by 2 x minus 6 multiply na? 2x square plus 2 to cancel 5x minus 12 this is your answer let's take another example 3 2 3 question number 2 given alpha is equals to 5 beta equals to 2 sum of the zero alpha plus beta 5 plus 2 equals to 7 
product of 0 alpha beta equals to 5 into 2 equals to 10 here k means denominator is 1 the required quadratic polynomial is k x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta so now k equals to 1 x square minus alpha plus beta is getting 7 alpha beta equals to 10 so what is the answer x square minus 7x plus 10 this is your answer hope you understand this explanations if any problems please write in the comment box and please subscribe my channel thank you